VR2 ultra high def plus a 360 degree VR video plus two 360 degree VR experiences back there plus two more VR experiences over in the Olympics area. All of them are streaming down one single 5G connection. We're actually sending 1.6 gigabits per second and that's just the demos we're using. That is not the max bandwidth, it's just that we don't even have enough demos here to max out the bandwidth of our connection. You don't know? I can't give you that number. But we think it's going to change everything because the latency is so low that autonomous driving will suddenly become a reality because there can't be any delay in that communication. You know, if one car is saying to the other, you're too close, that needs to happen immediately. So if you look at the VR experience back here, it seems like it's simultaneous, but it's actually not a local event. The sensor data from those goggles is going up the 5G connection to the server where Life of Us is hosted, it's processed, the graphics data comes back down the 5G and then is displayed visually. Well, the whole graphics are being streamed. Everything, yeah, it's, it's hosted in the cloud. So it has two players who are meeting in virtual space in the cloud and yet they're seeing it here and it, the lag is so low, there's so little latency that it seems real time, it seems instantaneous to us. So that's going to make you know smart cities and smart homes and streaming video games and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah everything becomes a reality once you can move that much data over the air that quickly, that reliably, way more connections of possible, you know, at CES we assume that our devices are just not going to work because they can't possibly be reliable with this many. And yet we keep making more devices that want to connect and we keep exponentially increasing the amount of data that all of those devices are collecting. And so we need to unlock that and let it power all of the amazing experiences that we think are possible. So we are, um, investing in the whole infrastructure in the cloud, the client, the network, so that 5G can roll out. Any time frame or anything for consumer-facing products? Well, we have already announced our first range of uh, commercial 5G modems, the uh, XMM8000 series. Uh, we don't have a ship date, but we have announced them. Uh, AT&T did an announcement last week. Uh, Verizon did an announcement, I think, a day or two ago. Are the modems here anywhere? Uh, they are not. Okay. Thank you. We have a demo version, um, but it's hiding. Oh, okay. So that's perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're